Welcome back to the Stephen Knight Show. Hope you're having a great Monday. We have a show full of the latest hot topics everyone's talking about, a lot to discuss. I want to remind you that this is Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. So shout out to everyone doing great things in that community. My mind's are all over social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and of course our official website is StephenKnightShow.com. Rather watch is going on our YouTube channel, Stephen Knight Show. Family, how y'all doing? Y'all doing good? Monday? It's Monday. <laughs> exactly. It definitely is a Monday. Well, listen, our question of the day is, have you ever given someone the wrong number on purpose? Lin- uh, Linnea. Absolutely. <laughs> Do you ever get scared that they might call you right then or text you right then? Nope. <laughs> nope. I believe it too. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Chige? Uh, see, you make me tell my secrets out in public. I have a I have a stunt phone. See? So, yeah. So, you can ring it. If I decide to give you the 52 fake out, I'm going to answer, but I don't ever have to answer it ever again. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever done that. I just don't give my number. <laughs> But uh, I don't think I've ever given the wrong number. I'll think about that today. But anyway, tweet us at home. Let us know. Have you ever given someone the wrong number on purpose? A lot of women said absolutely. All right. Well, Prince Harry reportedly flew less than an hour um, after his father's coronation in London. According to page six, uh, Prince Harry returned home to California to make up, make it on time for his son's Archie's fourth birthday. The Duke of Sussex was spotted at the VP Windsor suite uh, at Hawthrow Airport around 3 p.m. since he was only in the U- United Kingdom for 24 hours. He spent the night at uh, Frogmore Cottage, the same home that he and his wife, Meghan Markle, were kicked out of by his father earlier this year so that he could gift it to Prince uh, Andrew. Now, despite the tension surrounding the family, Prince Harry uh, still attended the ceremony as a peace offering, but he we, appeared to be snubbed on multiple occasions. Uh, He was seated at the third row at the Westminster Abbey while his brother, Prince William and uh, Kate Middleton were uh, sitting front row since they were working royals. Prince Harry was headed back home. Queen Camilla and other royals joined Charles on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. A source said Prince Harry would not uh, be invited to the balcony appearance, but he said Charles loves his son. Now, Meghan Markle, she stayed home with the children um, to protect her peace reportedly um that was reported in the interview she is aware that just how much of the spotlight goes on her when she sets even a foot uh near the near the story its portrait is intentional so they pretty much say that she stayed home because she knew that she would take the spotlight uh from her family and um and the pe- family was apparently happy she didn't come because they thought the spotlight would go on her and harry and not on the king and the new queen uh <laughs> Chicken, what are your thoughts? Do you think Harry was snubbed? Do you think he did the right thing by coming to support his father, but going back home to uh, see his son? Harry should have kept his royal ass in uh, wherever he was with Meghan Markle. That's where he should have kept his behind. He shouldn't have attended. And it, this actually started a debate between me and some co-workers today at work because it was on the news and we were talking about it. And they were calling Meghan Markle all kinds of bees. And I was, I, I got a little frustrated because, you know, they were different and they were speaking what they were speaking out of ignorance. And I had to jump in and, you know, defend Meghan Markle. Like I need to defend Meghan Markle, but I was more so defending blackness. And you can't speak on what you don't know about. And they were speaking on things that they didn't know about. What that woman's experience was with the family was what her experience was. And she decided to share that. Mm-hmm. The family did not appreciate what she had to share because it shined a spotlight on the racism. So with that being said, and I asked them, I said, think about anything that, because they're all married. I said, think about anything that you were in- invited to by another couple or by um, an entity, you normally go with your spouse. What would that have looked like if you were invited and you went alone without your spouse? It would look weird. It looked odd. And I just think that he, sh- I understand why he went, but I think he should have stayed home. Hmm. What are your thoughts, Lanier? Um, hmm. Kudos to Meghan Markle for staying home and protecting her peace. Mm-hmm. Um, and not subjecting herself to the circus 
that would have been made had she gone um, to the coronation of the side chick and her father-in-law. <laughs> and and shout out to the side chicks. Never give up. Never give up. Even if you do look like a shriveled old raisin with a crown on your head. Um, so with that being said, um, I do understand why he went, but I'm definitely with um, Brother Evans on this one. Um, he should have just stayed home. Stay home with you because it was also Archie's birthday. I know he didn't miss it. Mm. And I know he, he went and he flew right back. Right. right. I don't, I, you can compare it to, and you know, like Chike said, you can compare it to um, when someone gets married, right? Nine times out of 10, the husband defers to the wife's family versus his own family. Because that's where his, that's your family. Like mm. that's your, that's your core. Um, and then his family is kind of an afterthought. Or even if it's, it could be the other way around. It's the husband's family that's deferred to and the wife's family is not. So sometimes those dynamics do play out in regular everyday people, relationships where you defer more uh, to one side or the other, especially if there are children involved. Like the situations where the mother, the wife don't like the husband's mother, so she can't see her grandchildren. Where, where, where does the husband stand in that? Like, you got to put your foot down. Like, that's your, that's your mother, but that's also your wife. So how do you juggle that dynamic? I mean, they yeah. don't have to because if I was Meghan Markle, I ain't effing with none of them. <laughs> So I know what it means to not mess with family. So you ain't got to ask me. Now he probably had a discussion with her. She probably said, go ahead and go. But I ain't going with you. And neither are my children. Yeah, I think he did the right thing by going, but I think he did it right by only staying where he had to stay and then he can't went back home. Um, but it is a difficult situation. I know he did he hopes to have his family reconcile um, you know, with the royal family, but does he? Does he really, or is that what the what the word is? Well, he said it in the interview, but uh -huh. but again, I don't know how successful they've been, obviously, because he's sitting in the third row with Prince Andrew and you know the um his brother and, and his wife are in the front row. Um I mean yeah. because he because he acquiesces to what what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. And I actually think that every time they're gonna stunt him for the look of it, because yeah. the monarchy is over everything else even the love of each other in that family, the monarchy is over that. Yep. So his family is going to do what they're going to have to do to protect the monarchy. And if that means having him look like a jackass every time he shows up, he's going to look like a jackass, like be on the third row. Keep your butt home, Harry. You too cool for that. <laughs> Absolutely. And I damn sure ain't going to nowhere where you moving on with somebody. So I don't give a damn how long it's been. <laughs> I don't give two rats for tooties with that old prune. But okay, I'm sorry. I got <laughs> All right, well, um, it's been a weekend for Chris Brown. First, he allegedly caught in a altercation with Usher. Uh, then they sh they both showed up and performed at the music festival where Chris was caught in another verbal altercation, which he now claims he was trying to let people know his child was nearby. So after first going viral and trending for allegedly getting into an altercation with Usher, who threw him a birthday party in Las Vegas on Friday, Chris then began trending after popping up at the Lover and Friends Music Festival in Vegas the next day later. After he took the stage unbothered, Usher would go on later evening unbothered as well. The fans in person and across the internet kept their names trending, trying to piece together what happened the night prior. The next morning, Sunday, Chris att uh, continued to trend, but this time it was after he was caught in another altercation. A video hit the internet showing the singer backstage at the Lover and Friends Music Festival from the night before. Breezy was seen arguing with someone as they were surrounded by a group of men all trying to figure out what was going on to intervene to keep things calm. The video that has upload, that was uploaded didn't give too much content uh, prior uh, context me, prior to what viewers saw. However, we did see Chris arguing with someone and then repeatedly saying, I got it, I got it, I got it. After the video went viral, social media continued to keep his name buzzing, but later Breezy would go on to break his silence. 
Uh, he since spoke out on Instagram, leaving a brief comment that read, y'all been geeked all weekend. Y'all dragging it, dragging it now. It was mad people backstage. Security was trying to clear everyone off the stage. People started pushing back. I intervened to let them know my child was back there so y'all can keep y'all narrative. It was funny because, you know, I remember we had the show, Lania, um, I think um, Chica was out, or I know Adam was stepping in. I remember Adam was uh, saying how Chris Brown, trouble follows him. And we were kind of like, leave it alone. He texted me when he saw these stories. He said, Chris Brown, back in the headlines. What do you think? Do you think because of his reputation that anything that happens with him, it's, um, you know, it's it's highlighted and, and made more than a big deal? Or do you think that trouble does seem to follow him? Are you talking to me or Chike? I'm sorry. Oh, you, I'm sorry. Um, so I love how people instantly put up their phone to record so they can get clicks and likes. Mm -hmm. There's no context to this, right? <laughs> There's no context to it. Um, you know, first the first headline, the first headline that came out was. Um, he said something about F. Tiana Taylor. That wasn't true. Mm -hmm. The next one came out, him and his crew beat up Usher. That was the next one. Mm -hmm. That's not what happened. Yeah. I, I only get frustrated because with our men, and I just read an article on um, Jonathan Majors, with our men, there is a, there is a goal, right? To just completely demolish them when they reach a certain apex it's, it's a goal whether they're innocent or guilty, there's a goal i don't care what nobody says um and with this particular situation i haven't seen all kinds of all, in like you know assumptions being made nobody from anybody's camp has said anything right mm -hmm. stop minding them people business because if people didn't have a camera to put up, we wouldn't know anything that would have happened. And if my child was there, I would have got into it too. And I would have been all up over the place. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, there was some, in regards to the whole situation where they say he said, you know, F T on tell, listen, you know, she can might laugh at this, but I, it seemed like I can't keep no friends, right? <laughs> It seemed like it's me. So if I'm at a party, it's my party, and you show up to my party, I'm going to wonder why the hell you at my party because you ain't talked to me. Mm -hmm. So if if that was the case, right, I don't think that people going to go somewhere where they know, you know what I mean? Like, if we not cool. Like, yeah. I, I just don't see that happening. So I, I just get aggravated at the narratives that are spun because then by the time by the time it gets to us having a conversation, people have already formed their opinions. Yeah. And they're like, oh yeah, he trouble. Listen, he gonna be what he gonna be, but so is a whole bunch of lot of uh, uh, other ones too, but ain't mm -hmm. nobody trending with that. Ain't nobody saying nothing about that. They just, pew, mm -hmm. quiet as a mouth. But I, I will say this, my boyfriend and I had a conversation about him. Yeah, I, I wish that he had better people around him in the sense of you know his extracurricular activities if if that's what it is but it was his birthday weekend we all have turned up on our mm -hmm. birthday yeah so you know i i don't know i don't know god bless him i'm gonna keep him in prayer yeah um and that's all i can do absolutely what's your thoughts chica so i really don't know too much about the story but just in general with Chris Brown, there's always this cloud of negative that follows with him, just like that, that cartoon character, Pigpen, yeah. on uh, <laughs> the peanuts, that, that, that dust ball just follows him around. And <clears throat> I have not seen a consorted effort to change the narrative that is surrounding him. None, no one in his camp, there's no PR person, there's no lawyers, there's nobody to actually put in the work to help build him differently. Yep. And, and, and I, I wanna be clear on what I say. I understand Chris Brown, it's his birthday weekend. <laughs> He's a Taurus. I understand the mindset, cause I'm a Taurus. Determined, 
stubborn. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to be who I want to be. I get it. However, that attitude is attached to your money. That reputation is attached to your money. Mm -hmm. It's attached to your fame. It's attached to your livelihood. Maybe not move around in certain ways where you know that you could be picked apart very easily. Don't make it easy for them. Try maybe an effort to look different. Present a different, I don't know. It's just like the your narrative, like create a new narrative. Maybe do um, a special song with children in it and holding hands, kumbaya, I don't know. But come up with a different narrative. Like put a different image out there to the public so they can see you in a different way. Because anything is going to be negative because you're Chris Brown. His camp, you just nailed it. Where are your where are your people at? Mm. Like where's your where's your team? Most people have handlers. They know that your reputation is connected to yeah. their livelihood too. So they usher you in, they usher you out. Anytime anything negative come along, they're hushing it away from you, hushing you away from it. They they're quelling the noise, so to speak. But mm. then we talk about this in regards to these broads trying to get at these dudes because yeah. the Trey songs with his issues, yeah. like. Like, where your people at? Like, what are you paying folks? Because they're not doing their job. Like, mm -hmm. I, to I me, don't... if you don't have a camp that's with you, all you have is hanger owners. That's they're just hanger owners. I said that earlier. Yeah. How yeah. many how many times have I whispered in your ear when we've been out somewhere, Lania, and I've been like, this isn't a good look. Let's move. Let's go. So we done dipped off at a lot of places. <laughs> we here and we gone. Exactly. Blink, yeah, blink. Y'all exactly. was there. Uh-uh. Nope. You ain't see us. <laughs> no pictures. Ain't no proof. All right. All right. Take a quick break. We come back. Find out which Real Housewife Atlanta is getting a divorce. Plus, Ebony K. Williams, she uh, made some comments last week that she's had to double down on. People cause a conversation about which she date a bus driver. And then Jay-Z, the alleged son of Jay-Z, is suing for a paternity test. Right back after this. Mm. 